here is another case, and you'll be very happy to learn that it has nothing to do with uh, lymph nodes or lymphomas, but you could already see that for yourself. What you see here is a squamous mucosa in which there is no significant keratinization and no skin appendages. So you know this has to be a non-keratinized stratified squamous mucosa. It happens to be the mouth. And once again, you could see something that looks like a polyp protruding and ulcerating this mucosa. And when you look closer, it looks like it has a lot of blood vessels. Well, might you want to call this perhaps a hemangioma? You might, but if you look closer, the mixture of cells is so um, intimate with normal fibrous tissue and so forth. I think that if I put either this little square or this little square in front of you or an experienced pathologist or this little square, you would probably say, hey, this looks like normal granulation tissue. Well, this tumor, or perhaps you want to call it more of a reactive process because it's not really a clonal proliferation, is called a pyogenic granuloma. Pyogenic granulomas look identical to granulation tissue because they are, and they're very vascular, and they're very hemorrhagic. And for that reason, they can break very easily, and not too incorrectly called uh, hemangiomas as well. Notice that the surface here is ulcerated. Notice there's a lot of inflammatory cells on the surface. And that's probably why this thing could bleed very, very easily if the person uh, had irritated that part of their oral mucosa. Pyogenic granuloma of a non keratinized stratified squamous structure, in other words, the mouth, the oral mucosa, having the exact same appearance as granulation tissue or very similar to a benign uh, growth of blood vessels called a hemangioma. Thank you very much.